Hey, hey, we're just kind of settling back into a routine after getting to go to the Grand Canyon. Um, it was awesome. I mean, we went and circled the whole Grand Canyon and, you know, went down into it and saw it from different angles. Um, and it was just great to be out in nature and see wildlife and uh, to be able to move. And in Minnesota, where apparently it snowed while we were gone, it was nice to be someplace where it was fairly warm. So hopefully you've had a chance to get away um, or taking a trip or something soon because um, I feel very refreshed and excited to be back. While I was gone, um, somebody tweeted an announcement about an article that I didn't know was seeing the light of day yet, um, but I'm really excited about it because I've been working on it forever. Um, and um, it sounds like it'll actually be published in the Advocate either in the April edition or in May maybe. Um, sent back and forth a couple edits with the editorial staff and um, it's been exciting to, to see that that's actually gonna happen. Um, it's about a cartoonist um, and yeah, so I'll post that news as soon as I have it um, so I can just include a link so you can, you can enjoy it. Um, it's, it's something I'm really proud of. And uh, in terms of other projects, uh, the Ska book is currently with Heidi. Um, she'll work on edits. I know her slate is pretty full, um, so I don't know exactly when that'll happen. Um, I continue to get updates about the cover art, um, which is looking great. Um, so I'm excited there. Um, the Thompson Twins book four at the zoo is um, I got the draft back from Heidi and I'm working on uploading it. Uh, we're waiting on the cover art from Piper uh, to put that together, but that should probably be published sometime later this month or May. Um, so that'll be out soon. And then the manuscript I was currently working on uh, before the trip um, called The Love Formula is pretty much done too. So um, kind of exciting, like I'm in this place where these three projects I've been working on um, actually four, I guess, if you count the, the Sam Allen, Sam Winston uh, piece um, are coming to fruition. So um, otherwise I'm finishing Bleak House. Um, it's, you know, one of the bigger uh, Dickens books that I had never read for whatever reason. Um, and it's really interesting. Um, I, I love the big books. You know, you kind of get lost in them and there's lots of material and characters. And I think Dickens is really a genius for the cliffhanger and for uh, the kind of series writing that he did, um, but it also works as a big tomb that you can just enjoy. Um, so I think it's like 950 pages, something like that, um, and it's pretty awesome. And then on a slimmer note, on our trip I picked this up um, because we spent a lot of time on reservation land and connected with a lot of people, um, some of the native people there. and. Um, I learned a lot about different tribes I'd never heard of, and um, I wanted to bring some home to, to learn some more. But anyway, hope all is well. Just wanted to check in really quick. Have a great spring. Um, assuming spring actually arrives fully. I think we're supposed to get snow again tomorrow, tonight, Minnesota. So hopefully it's warmer wherever you are. <laughs> Have a good one.